This is Jupiter Today for the 29th of March, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. So today there's seven Jupiter satellite events and two satellite mutual events. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant three, heading west. Europa starts the day in quadrant two, heading west. Ganymede starts today in quadrant one, heading east. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant two, heading west. At zero hours, one minute UTC, EO shadow egresses. At 3.53 UTC, the transit of Europa begins. At 5.59 UTC, Europa's shadow ingresses. By 6 hours UTC, EO is in quadrant 3, heading west, but near its western elongation, going to be moving into quadrant 4. And Europa is transiting. At 6.46 UTC, the transit of Europa ends, and at 8.52 UTC, the shadow of Europa egresses. At 11.52 UTC, EO goes through an apogee, and that's the furthest it's going to be from Jupiter in this orbit, and that's 423,546.3 kilometers. And at 12 hours UTC, EO is now past its western elongation and firmly in quadrant 4, heading east. From 1237 to 1241 UTC, Europa occults EO. That would be this line of sight here. It's a 4.6 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.464 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.254 magnitudes. And this occultation is a nice distance from Jupiter, 79.6 arc seconds. And then from 1413 to 1418 UTC, Europa eclipses EO. These mutual events with an occultation and then an eclipse is fairly common. This particular event is a five minute event with a fairly shallow impact parameter of 0.548 arc seconds and therefore not a very deep eclipse, just 0.302 magnitudes, 59.83 arc seconds from Jupiter and the two moons are 39.75 arc seconds apart. By 18 hours UTC, EO is just about to move behind Jupiter from Earth's point of view. This line of sight here, the blue line, is the line of sight to Earth. This gray line is the line of sight to the Sun. And at 1801 UTC, EO does indeed move behind Jupiter. As you can see from the graphic, that doesn't mean that it lines up with the perfect line of sight to the Earth. This line of sight, this intersection here, would be the midpoint of the time behind Jupiter. And then at 2122 UTC, EO reappears from Jupiter's shadow. And at zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO is now firmly in quadrant one, heading east. And Europa is near its eastern elongation, going to be moving into quadrant four, heading east. Orbital ribbons for today, these are the spatial and temporal connections between the four Galilean moons. So here's Io and Europa, Io and Ganymede, Io and Callisto. Sorry that Callisto is out of the field of view. That's a nice twist though. There's Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, Ganymede and Callisto, and then we combine all of these and get rid of the orbital lines to get that for today. And I think that's a fantastic shape. This looks like a bowl with a cone in it. It's very nice. 
Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. Standing on the equator of Jupiter, looking out, seeing what's happening over the next 24 hours. There's Europa going between Jupiter and the Sun. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today, first at 9.30 and the second at 19.26 UTC. There were no new images, there was some new radio data posted, and there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 1 minute, 13.1 seconds. A declination of positive 17 degrees 58 minutes 0 0.5 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun today is 124.782 degrees, and that's 1.024 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle today is 8.82 degrees, and that's 0 0.114 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is 705,337,388 kilometers and that's 1,956,351 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 81,514.63 kilometers per hour and that's 1,029.63 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is slowly creeping towards 800 million kilometers. I think it'll either happen, well, it'll definitely happen in the next 36 hours. Today's distance is 799,961,708 kilometers, and that's 44,242 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. That gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,843.42 kilometers per hour and that's 4.75 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. Central Meridian at 0 hours UTC CM1 122.09 degrees CM2 113.77 degrees CM3 35.67 degrees So please subscribe, hit that subscribe button and that like button also like to hear your comments and questions and suggestions. Jupiter is a very dynamic system and I'm trying to encourage observations of it as much as possible just to see what happens. We've never done that before and I'd like to be able to do that. So you can send all of these to the email shown and until tomorrow, I bid you peace.